Hi my lads, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Kat and I bring out videos all the time. Today we're going to be making a personalised belly basket, which I'm really excited about because I used to make these in my shop all the time. They're dead easy to make and they're really effective. Lovely as a new baby gift or just to use as a toy basket for your own baby or kids room. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love that. It would mean the world to me. Right, let's get into making our basket. Okay, so these you can buy online. Just search dip seagrass basket. I got this one from eBay, I think. You can get them from Amazon. I'll pop the link below to where you can get them from. And this is 28 centimetres by 32, which is just kind of like a normal size, really. And you're gonna see all of these little kind of bits coming out. And what I like to do is just kind of trim those parts off. So I'm gonna just do that quickly. And the basket will not fall apart, honestly, just snip these little bits off and it will just be a lot nicer. There we go. And if you get any sort of Dark bits, that's just a part of the grass, and I think it's pretty, but you can kind of cut those bits off if you like as well. So we're going to be using some bobble trim, and this is, I think, mini pom-pom trim. If you search for it, I'll put the link below. And this is white. And then we're just gonna, with a glue gun, glue that round the edge. So we're gonna take our glue gun, and we're gonna just, in the middle, we're gonna just put about one or two centimeters of glue and get the end of our trim and just put it on there. And then make sure you kind of pull it tight, make sure it's all the way down. And because it's got a lip on it, it's easy to glue like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing all the way around. So when you get back to the beginning, you're just gonna make sure it comes up to the, the first part from when you started and then just chop about a couple of centimeters beyond that. And if you chop through one of these balls, they will not stop fraying. So you just got to make sure you kind of place your scissors in the middle of one of those. Like And then just add a little bit of glue just to pop that tail down and make it nice and neat. There you go. So now you've got your trim. And now you're going to add your name. So we are going to do the name Indy today. And I'm going to use this gorgeous um, bobbiny braided cord. This is five millimeter braided cord and we're going to pin it onto the basket in the name that we want. So obviously if you have a five letter name, try and make sure that the middle letter is in the middle of the basket. So you want to make sure with this name that the D, the D is in the middle of the basket, which is actually, I'm going to take the just over a little bit. Okay, that's If it doesn't look perfect, please don't worry. You can sew these on, but they'll take a lot longer. And if you glue them nicely, it's exactly the same effect.
So we've got Indy here. And I am going to do the top of the eye one by one. We take our pins and we just do a thin line of glue. And then to the end of the eye, I like to sort of roll it like that. If you can see that. And then I want to make sure all the letters are roughly the same height, like kind of across here, and then the top part of the letter is the same height as you would just like with highlighting. This small eye, we've got a little dot here. Let's cut the smallest piece off. We can have an eye in there. And then we'll give it a little bit of a sluggish. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making this basket and I hope you did too. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. My name's Kat and I bring out videos all the time, even more frequently than once a week because I love making them so much. So please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you want any more from me, you can always sign up to my email list which is linked below and that will provide you with updates of my channel, new videos you can see, new content, crochet patterns, giveaways and things like that. So please sign up to my email list. You won't regret that. I'm really, really glad you joined me today. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.